loves it's Sam. So I've had a, oh dear, I just got glue all over myself. I've had a lot of people ask for me to do Katy Perry kind of her neon like bright makeup looks and I haven't done one yet so I figured since today is her birthday I would do one to say like a happy birthday to her not that she's gonna watch this happy birthday Katy Perry this is her look that she wore at the MTV Awards this year or yeah this year she had her little um, her pink hair with the little carousel um, I just thought it was really pretty, very nice and bright, and it's awesome because I know a lot of people might be going as Katy Perry for Halloween, so I figured I could, you know, include this as one of my Halloween tutorials, and um, we kind of have like the same shaped eyes, so I thought it would work well with my features too. Um, and seeing as she was the one, like when I saw her pink hair on InStyle Magazine, I was like, oh, what? She has pink hair? Oh my God. She totally inspired me like to do my hair pink for breast cancer awareness since my mom passed away from breast cancer. Like she totally, I think she like, kind of gave me the, um, the cojones to do it. Cause so I was like, Shh, Katy Perry can wear pink hair. So can I. So I love Katy Perry. She has like the best songs ever and she's so beautiful. And she seems like a really nice person too, which I always like because sometimes when stars are poo heads, it's like, Psh, you're not that great. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys like the look. I will do an outfit of the day at the end of the video, but it's basically just like a really nice kind of bright, um, kind of bluish, purplish, yellow with a nice bright pink lip to go with the pink hair. So thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and have an awesome week and happy halloween -y. And happy birthday, Katy Perry. We love you. Mwah! Okay, so I've already put my foundation and my powder on. I used my BB cream um, from Leo Ellie in triple the solution, or sorry, triple the solution. And I think it's just one color. Um, I don't think it has a bunch of different shades. And I just put my Lorac powder in PF3, the Perfection, over it to set it. Now for my bronzer, I'm gonna use the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And, and I'm just using the new new Pro 10 uh, powder brush. And this is like my new favorite bronzer. It's a matte bronzer, so it's not gonna like make you look real shimmery or sparkly or anything. So I just kind of put that on my cheeks first. And then I'm gonna take my Physicians Formula. This is the Baked Bronzer in Baked Tan. And I'm using my Sigma B05 Body Brush. And I'm just gonna kind of put that on my chest area. It has a little bit of like a shimmer to it and it just kind of helps blend my neck and everything together since I'm not all even. I'm using the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder by e.l.f. And I'm just gonna use this color right here, which is basically just a, it's got a slight sheen to it. And I'm just gonna use um, a contouring brush. This is from Sedona Lace. And I'm basically just gonna kind of put that right in the hollows of my cheeks. My mirror is a bit wonky, there we go. And then around the temples. And then with my Sigma P84, I'm just gonna put that a little bit underneath my lip to make it look a bit bigger. And then down the sides of my nose to make it look a bit smaller. <laughs> and this is like my favorite blush ever. It's the Lorac and it's the Baked or Lorac. I think I'm saying it wrong, Lorac, I think I'm supposed to say. Baked Matte Satin Blush in Flaunt. And this is basically just like the best pink blush ever. It's super shimmery. Oh my God, I love it. It's so fabulous. Just using a new, new Pro 20 blush brush. And I'm just gonna kind of put that on the backs of the cheeks. It didn't look like hers was anywhere close to the apple. So just kind of further back. Okay, now for my highlighter, I'm just gonna use my MAC uh, Silver Dusk. And that is what it looks like. It's just a big loose powder. And I'm just gonna take my Sigma, what is this? The F86, it's the tapered kabuki. And this is like my favorite brush for highlighting. So I'm taking a little bit of that and I'm just gonna put that right along the cheekbones, down the nose, and then the upper lip. For the eyes, I've already primed my eye with my MAC paint and look at that. It's like literally, I think I have one more squirt and then I'm gonna have, I don't know why I haven't ordered a new one. I'm just gonna try and use up what I have of the other things. The first thing I'm gonna do is, um, this is the CoverGirl, what is this? Smoky Shadow Blast. 
And the color, I don't know. I don't think it has a color. It's just the blue one, basically. I'm gonna take the step two side, which is basically just kind of like a medium blue. And I'm gonna put that kind of on the outer third, leave the very inner corner open, but basically just kind of the third outer part and then underneath as well. I'm just gonna kind of blend that out with my finger. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my Physician's Formula. This is the Shimmer Strips in Blue Eye Candy. And that's what it, oh, sorry, glare. That's what it looks like. Aquas, dark blues, and then one pink. I'm taking this color right here, the second to last color, and I'm gonna take a Sigma, what is this, E20. It's kind of like a short, stiffer brush. And I'm basically gonna put that all over where I just put that uh, blue base down. So the whole kind of third outer third and then just kind of bring it up a little bit into the crease but this doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to blend everything out and then i'm going to put a little bit underneath i'm going to take this color right here which is from the pop hazel eyes from physicians formula i'm taking this bottom color here which is it's sorry not the second to the bottom it's a light pink and i'm going to take my um this is the Sigma E30, or sorry, E25, just a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna start putting that right over that blue. And then up into the crease. And just start kind of blending everything up. The next color I'm just gonna use with my finger because I want it to be really pigmented. It's from that Pop Hazel Eyes and it's this bright yellow color right here. So I'm just gonna take that with my finger and put that right in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take the little um, lighter color and then just put that right in the very inner corner because that's just a little bit more shimmery. A little bit of this color right here, it's kind of like a soft purple and just kind of put that in the crease a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take MAC uh, Out to Sea liner and I'm gonna put that kind of in my waterline so that it's nice and bright. And then I'm going to apply some liner. I honestly cannot remember if she had, I think she had a really thin line because I don't know if she had false acid or not. I don't have the picture right here with me because I forgot to put it on, a la on my laptop and so now I don't have it here. I'm just gonna take this cream liner from Physicians Formula and a really tiny little brush. This is just a tiny little eyeliner brush. It's from New New Makeup and it's the Pro 80. I'm just gonna dip that right in there. I'm just gonna make that really thin. Just a really thin line. Just because I'm gonna put false lashes on, so I, I wanna be able to have like kind of a, you wanna have a black base down there so that it, if you do kind of have a little whoopsie doodle, it's not gonna show. Okay, now I'm gonna use my mascara, which is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And I'm just gonna put uh, one coat of this on. And then I'm gonna put my mask, or sorry, my false lashes on and then I'll put another coat on once my lashes are on so that they kind of like merge together a little bit better. Okay, so I've got one coat on. I'm gonna use my 105 lashes. These are from Ardell and I've used them before so they're, they're honestly a bit cruddy, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna apply my Ardell lash glue that comes with them. Okay, so I've got the eye, whoopsie, eye finished. So that, is what you should have. 
When you're done, for the lips, I'm going to take the Maybelline Moisture Whip Lip Liner in Rose. And I'm going to fill in the whole lip with that. And then I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Pure Color Widely Pink Shimmer Lipstick. This is from Estee Lauder, right? Yeah. And I'm going to put that right over. Mmm. It smells so good. So there you go. You're done. I did my, um, like, her, she, lately she's been wearing her hair kind of like the 1950s style with the little curls and everything. Um, I don't know if you can technically say it's rockabilly. I, I don't know. But, um, so I did my hair like that. And I kind of put a little yellow shirt on. I'll show you guys my outfit of the day because it matches my makeup. So might as well. So... I have this little yellow shirt, and then I just have a little blank black tank top. This is from Ross, and then my leggings are from Deb. And then I'm probably just going to wear some little black flats or something. But isn't the back of this shirt cute? I mean, obviously it would look a lot better if there was, like, nothing underneath. The lace would look way prettier, but, um. So, and then I'm wearing, this is from Hawaii. I got that when I was there. And then this, I'm not sure where it's from. Oops, sorry, I'm not even showing you guys. And then that's my hair scrunchie. And then I got some little yellow earrings on to match. Um, and I don't really know where they're from either. I'm really sorry. And my nail polish is this color right here, Sinful 920. So that's the polish I'm wearing. So I hope that you guys like the look. Thank you so much for watching. And... Happy birthday, Katy Perry! Woohoo! Bye!